Hi, this is Linda Rogers from Planning Within Reach. Many of you will receive a cash gift or inheritance at some point in your life. It may be small, but it also may be substantial. Where you end up putting that money can have big ramifications. This is what you need to know. An inheritance or a gift is your separate property. If you take that money and end up putting it in a joint account, it's now a joint asset. Why does that matter? Well, it may not matter, but if you end up getting divorced, that's a big deal. When you, during the divorce process, you list your joint assets and debts and you split them in half. So if you took that separate property and put it into a joint account, you're now splitting half of your inheritance with your ex spouse. So what you wanna do is keep it in a separate account in your name only. If you've already put it into a joint account and you end up getting divorced, there are ways that you can try and determine which portion of that account was your separate property, but it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to be an ex expensive process because there were likely interest and dividends in the account and there were deposits and withdrawals. So you're looking at hiring a forensic accountant, which is not cheap. And many people end up just at some point saying, you know what, it's not worth it. So much cleaner to just go ahead and keep that separate. Understandably, most people don't want to think about divorce or their spouse may not be thrilled with the idea that they're keeping all this money in a separate account. Um, I think that's why it's also helpful to have kind of an objective third party opinion because, you know, it could be a financial planner, a tax professional, a lawyer. They're going to say the same thing, which is you want to keep good records and you want to keep your inheritance in a separate account. That doesn't prevent you from, you know, taking some of your inheritance and maybe using it for a family vacation or for home improvements. Yes, you're changing the character of it. So you're taking a separate property account money and you're using it for a joint expense, but you can make that decision along the way. And it's completely different than taking your entire inheritance and changing its character all at once, which is what you're doing when you put it into a joint account. So ask before you act, because this is one of those things that it's really hard to undo once you've done it. So you just want to make sure you do it correctly. My name is Linda Rogers, owner of Planning Within Reach.